Hello. Today we are looking at a fantastic landscape watercolor painting by James F. Goff. This is titled Before the Storm and it's from 1974. There's probably no better landscape artist in the history of Sioux City uh, than, than Jim Goff. Um, he has a really interesting story. He was born in 1920 in Minnesota, but moved to Sioux City with his family when he was still a boy. Uh, he went to East High School, and then after a stint in the Army, he came back to Sioux City, studied at Morningside, and then went to Drake for his Master of Fine Arts. Uh, from that point on, he was an art teacher at East High School, and for nearly 30 years, he was an amazing inspiration for the students and other faculty members at East High School. Um, we did an exhibition of his work back in 2014. Uh, we've done several in the past, but that was the most recent. And even years later in 2014, his students and his faculty members, co-faculty members, were still in awe and in love with, with Jim Goff. Uh, for our purposes, while we like the fact that he was a genuinely nice and respected man, he was a great painter as well. Uh, Before the Storm is a fantastic example of his work. He was, by nature, a quiet man, and he deliberately found places in and around Sioux City that reflected his personality. He wanted to see something of himself in the paintings he created. And so while other landscape artists are usually attracted to landscapes during the summer or spring or fall, when there is something colorful to represent, when the crops or the, the flowers are in full bloom. Jim preferred the winter. And it's, it's an interesting thing, the way, the way he creates his wintry scenes, because usually the white that where we see snow is actually just looking at the white of the paper. And in some of his paintings, perhaps half of the painting itself might simply be the white of the paper. The story behind this painting is that uh, we're not, while well, we're not exactly certain the precise location of this, uh, of this landscape, we do know that he was particularly attracted to this location because he knew that it was about to be developed. As he wrote, the bulldozers were on their way and he wanted a chance to paint the, the setting before it was lost forever. And when you see lots of his other works, and we have, oh, probably 10, maybe more paintings of his in our collection. He, during the, from about the late 60s into the early 80s, painted hundreds and hundreds of amazing landscapes, each one unique. It wasn't like he just went over and over doing the same thing, but he was particularly attracted to uh, lost settings, basically. Uh, barns that were no longer in use, fence lines that were leaning a little bit, um, and other, other places that were maybe just more desolate in terms of human activity. Um, but in this case, he was uh, capturing something that he knew was going to be lost, a nice, quiet place. And that's why when we did the exhibition of his in 2014, the title was Still and Silent Places. Um, we th that was a phrase that his daughter came up with and, and we felt like it, it more than any other title, any other phrase, described exactly what it was that uh, Jim Goff was able to capture in his paintings.